Hi guys, welcome down to part two here at the beautiful Whitefield Golf Club. We have played the back nine here before. Today we're on the front nine and we're on the fourth hole. 436 yard par four. Cracking looking hole actually, straight through the middle of the trees. The flag is right in the distance. So it's a long hole, but it looks relatively narrow off the tee. We're both out with driver. Fletch is one up. If you've not seen part one, please do go and check it out because he, he will treat you to a couple of nice little birdies. Happiness. So he's uh, Fletch. Fletch is on form this morning. So driver's out. All due to that coffee you gave me, Pat. <laughs> Caffeine upload. Oh, beauty. Perfect. Do us. Fairway finder. Happiness. Nice shot. Cheers, Pat. All right, I'm going to follow you. I'm going to go down your line. Yeah. See up down the right side of the tee. We'll play a little fade. Little fade. Opens up the right side a little bit more, gives me more of an angle. Go I like that. You move the ball from left to right, split tee up on the right side. Crushed it. Oh, nailed it. Driver's back. Driver is back. Right guys, we're second shot for Fletch, both in the middle of the fairway. It's a windy, windy day and it's coming straight back into us. We've got 190 into this flag. What are you are with Fletch? Three iron. Three iron. There's a bit of breeze. There's a lot of breeze. Lies that uh, the ball is below my feet. So it's what I need to do is lie. don't go too much in the legs guys. Bend the spine a little bit more because you want to have room to swing through. You don't want your feet getting in, your knees getting in the way. Keep your balance as best as possible. Give it a boof. Like that. Hello. Happiness. It's on the flag now as well. Landed just short. Rolling, rolling. Oh my god. <laughs> Cracking shot. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't know if you guys can see Kai. Is it a great drive? However, his light is like that. Woo. He's on a slow. <laughs> uh, There's a bit of slow pitch to deal with here. Yardage, iron. <laughs> bit top heavy. My word. Right. Yardage, iron in hand. 143 yardage. Flag is up there in the distance. Yeah, iron in hand. Winds into and off the left. But the flag's on the front edge. I'm going to actually hit this at the flag though, my draw will counteract the slope. Okay. And the flag's on the left side anyway, so I don't want to miss it left either. That's it. Got to put it close. Be it. Be the one. Be on it. Oh, great shot. <laughs> you muppet. Problems. Alright guys. Some majestic shots just been in hit in there now. This Whitefield Golf Club brings the best out in us, doesn't it? It does, not it? It's nice. <laughs> and for the hardest hole we've played so far, and we've put one in. Yeah, I hope, I hope both of these go in. I want to see some, some more birdies. That would fill us with happiness. Now, I know you're off the green, yep. but I'm further away. Okay, so you're going to go first, are you? I'm up, I'm up first. Right, I'll just. Down up, ooh. I like I like that uh, interpretation. Down up, ooh. Down up and uh oh. <laughs> oh I'm rolling. Uh, I'll give you that. Just stayed out, didn't it? Yeah, it just moved that way up the slope. Right, so Fletch, little left to righter, popping onto the fringe won't really make a difference. There's not much of it to go over. I think he's in the better position. Yes, yeah, so do I. This is for three birdies in a row. This is a, this is how, how we roll. This is how we do on, roll. Send it home. Send it home. Oh, I thought it was still going to come back a little bit. Take it away. Right. 
two pars, tough holes, four, three, six into the wind. I think we'd have taken two pars on the tee. That's and two easy pars as well. That's right, pal. So we'll take them. Right, what a, what a par three we've got in store for you today, guys. 210 yards and you can't see the flag. See that bush <laughs> just there? And you can't see the flag. The flag is right behind it. Well, obviously not right behind it. A hundred and it was 190 yards from the buggy. That's where we could see the flag from. So we're playing this as around about 200 yards. It is downwind off the right. Yes. Yeah. It's off the right. So it's going to move a bit. It's going to move about at least 10 yards right to left. So we hit it straight. What have you got? Five iron. Four. 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 Yeah. What a crazy hole, you can't see the flag. I know, it looks like a par, par four. Three. <laughs> you can't see the flag. So I'm going to go, you see there's a bit of a V in the distance. I don't want to miss this left because it's just not nice left, is it? No, left by the looks of thing is dead. Yeah, so I don't know how this green is formed. So I'm going to aim there. Hopefully it'll be right side of the green. Let's see. back from that bush I played well away from that bush yeah just don't want to miss it left I think with the shape of the hole you're expecting it to bounce slightly right aren't you uh, left it. rather yeah. that looks pretty good pal someone got up on the right side of bed this morning <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's that coffee you gave me honestly I was watching in a documentary actually you know uh, how how it's to do with all this doping going on before the Olympics yeah well it was actually um, a documentary saying how beneficial caffeine is actually. Really? Yeah. And that the these scientists are recommended sports people, especially, you know, footballers and such like, to be taking caffeine. Yeah, it gives me a little boost, doesn't it? Yeah. Legal high. Golf, yeah, and Tem maybe not good tempo for Tempo-wise. So what's in hand, sorry? I've got a little five iron. Five iron, okay. I'm gonna hold it into the wind. Tiger line. Tiger line. Please be long enough, he says. Uh oh. <laughs> we'll have to see when we get up there. <laughs> Hand on the forehead says it all. Problems. As I said, guys, I went for that V. I'm there on the green. It's the Carter. You like, um, you like merino sheep. Living in the mountains. Not before. Have you? Right, okay. It's like, it's like being a Bear Grylls cameraman, this. Wow. Wow, indeed. It's like you've got the, it's like you've got the quads to get up in. <laughs> Gotta be careful of them branches as well. Wow. If you get up and down there, this will be it. Best of the year. Would have, that would have made, given me squeaky bum time, that. Oh, I love the lines. <laughs> Ready? Right. Do, do you want me... Uh... I'll give you that much. Alright. I'm going to give you the hole. Yeah, give me the hole. It's not even my ball. <laughs> Fair enough. Good job. Alright <laughs> guys, we pride ourselves on giving you a few go good golf tips along the way. So, lesson... Number one, always identify your golf ball. <laughs> it was sat down, I just assumed it was mine. I don't think anyone else you should never assume that. Exactly. It makes an ass out of you and me, that's what my old boss used to say. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Right, so Fletch is two up. 
we're on the sixth hole. This is the final hole of part two. Guys, I'm glad Fletch is demonstrating some really top quality golf because I'm not. <laughs> two down with four to play. Massive hole, this massive do uh, wind off the left hand side. Yeah. We're going to be aiming out towards the trees there on the left. That's it. And it's four to six. Flag is behind them trees. Flag is behind them trees. Yeah, exactly. It is so windy today. I really hope this audio is good, guys. Fletch is enjoying it. Here's another fairway. Probably makes his second approach shot a little bit longer than yeah, he would like. Slightly out of the hustle there. Was it? Yeah. That, is, that is extreme. But towards the hustle. <laughs> Carter's decided to tee up on the right hand side. Again, open the angle up. Yeah. Right, come on. You're good today. Missed it in the wrong places. Me. Opening up that green nicely. That's why it's opened. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you I don't think it is because it looks like that's one fifty there. Wait, it's two or six, mate. Two happens. It is two or six. Who cares? Two up. Two up. I've gone through one green already today. Let's make it a second. Why not? Have one more. I'll have one more though. It's like when you give your dad a mobile phone for the first time. Or a laptop. You keep saying it. I'm just gonna have to go with it. <laughs> just have to trust it. 206 downwind. That's the one. Everyone put the shutters down on your windows. <laughs> uh, brilliant. What have you got? Three iron? No, I'm gonna go with, <laughs> gonna go with a five. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case you're wrong. Flag's at the back anyway. Yeah. Right, imagine, so apparently guys, we've got 206 into the green to the flag. Right, imagine this is still going up. Slight downhill, so I'm gonna put a bit more weight on my front foot. Okay, and give it a boost. I've pulled it a little. And he's chased it, Sergio. I can't believe that's gone over the back, Fletch. That can't. yardage was totally wrong. <laughs> that yardage was horrendous. <laughs> you grab the bush and I'll like just measure it, will you? I'm quite interested in what you get. I'm going to have to get one of them Garmin. Watch this. 190, mate. Do you want me to grab that yardage for you? It's alright right, mate. If you got it, I think you'd get the 147, which is the trees behind. I get the one, I get the 129. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, that's what will have happened. I got the bush instead of the flag. You did. Okay. So, Thankfully there was the bush as well just to make sure. Ah, uh, okay, is that what you do? Right. I decide what yardage I'm gonna give you depending on the ball. Yeah, we can spin on the ball so it stops nice and quick. Did the, did the right thing though, landed it slightly left of the flag because generally it's going to spin a little to the right, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see when we get up there. Right guys, we're going to leave the, the flag in. Carter is contemplating distance and line. What do you see? Long. Long. Yeah, there's a bit of a undulation going on here, isn't there? About 10 foot before the flag. God, a wee bit of breeze is going on. Good to see if you can get this within a few feet. It's the next one. Sure, 
especially in hindsight. So he's got a very delicate one, not much green to work with. Just gonna splash it out, probably hit the front edge of the green. Take uh, a bit more sand than usual. Yeah. It doesn't fly to the Try and take a little bit too much, a bit more sand, soft landing, soft feet. Oh, he's played. Ooh, just popped Not out bad. to the right, but he's in a decent enough position there. I can't believe we just seen a deer. I've seen Bambi. <laughs> I just <laughs> couldn't get I couldn't get the camera on quick enough, but we saw a Bambi running straight across the middle of the green, across the middle of the golf course. Very random, considering we are literally in inner city Manchester. So I'm not sure where it's escaped from, or who held it captive. What are you seeing? What are you seeing? Feeling. Feeling. Downhill a little bit off the right. Down a little bit off the right, okay. Not a massive amount, I don't think. Just got to start getting some people in the golf club. Yeah. Ideally, not leaving myself in the golf club. Doing the opposite to what I normally do. Give you that pal. Great. Major problems. We, we, we were the first on win for you. And I won the first. <laughs> <laughs> Little bit out of sorts today. Oh he's in there. And that is the end of part two. Fletch three up through six holes. Cheers, pal. We're gonna play 18 holes today. Could do, although we've got coaching in about two hours, <laughs> ten, hour, 10 hour day each. Oh man. So guys, that's end of part two. Hope you enjoyed that. You know, I've got Carter on the racks for once. Good to see. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> oh, okay. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel. Check us out on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We've got a golf holiday coming up. We're going to be going to a five star hotel in the south of Spain called El Rompido. So if you're interested, send, uh, send us an email to info at how to improve my golf. It's a golf, co golf coaching holiday. So you're going to have Carter and myself down there. We're going to be coaching you every day, checking your golf swings out, and then we're going to be playing golf with you on the golf course. Three rounds of golf, four nights away. It is a limited availability, guys. That's, That's why it makes us, we're, a lot, we're able to play with you every single day. So we're, we're limiting the numbers. So guys, get in touch quick. Spaces, I've already gone. This video has already been out a couple of days. So a couple of spaces, have, a few spaces have already gone, to be fair. There's not a massive amount left. So drop us an email if you're interested. All right, guys. We'll see and you I'm gonna peg, I'm gonna get. I'm going to make this, make this match go to a playoff. Ooh, so see us in part three, where we're going to be starting on the seventh hole, obviously. 317 yards par four straight up there so guys we'll see you shortly